In this lesson, we're going to be going over footprinting. What is footprinting? Well, footprinting is getting an idea of the entire scope of your target. That means not just the scope that you were given, which may be an address block, or it may be a domain name, or it may be a set of address blocks. What you want to do is you want to figure out all of the information that's associated with that in as great detail as you can possibly get. So you want a list of domain names. And as you're going through this, you probably want some sort of database or Excel spreadsheet or something to keep track of all of the information because you're going to have a lot of it at the end of the day. So you want to be able to find the information quickly. And so having some sort of either notepad going with your notes or, as I said, a spreadsheet or a database if you can get organized in that way. But you want to keep all of those sorts of things down. So in this case, I want to do infiniteskills.com. I need network blocks. So, so far we've found one, and that's just a made up IP address because I'm just putting information down, but I need network blocks. You may only have one IP address that you can find externally. You're going to want a whole range of internal blocks, and you can do a little bit of digging if you aren't provided those. You want specific IP addresses for critical systems, web server, email server, database if you can find it, those sorts of things. You want system architectures. Are they running Intel? Are they running Windows? Are they running Unix? What are they running? Access control lists. These are going to be hard to get, but you may be able to guess them, and you can guess those by doing port scans to see what sorts of responses you get and whether you get filters back or not. You want to know whether there's an IDS around somewhere. You want to do system enumeration. If you can get access to a system somehow, you want to know usernames, group names, and so on. You want system banners, routing tables, and SNMP information if you can get it. DNS host names, if you can get those. This is for both internal and external. On the inside, if you're doing an internal penetration test or ethical hacking engagement, you want to know networking protocols. Are they only using TCP IP or are they using IPX, SPX? Are they using DECnet, Apple Talk? Are they using some sort of split DNS? In other words, do they have an internal DNS server that's different from their external and will it give different information? You want to check for remote access possibilities, VPN or dial up. And yes, people still use dial up. How about extranet? Do they have connections to other partner facilities? What are the connection points? What sorts of access control are they using? Is it public or private? In other words, are they doing some sort of VPN tunnel between the endpoints, or are they using just a private line to connect the two different endpoints? This is the type of information that you want to be gathering, and you don't have to gather it all up front. Some of it you need to gather up front so you can figure out what you're doing and where you're going to start. Some of it you're just going to gather as you go, in order to have information so that you can continue and also provide you some launching points for additional attacks or tests that you may be able to do. But this is definitely a starting point of the types of information that you need to have as you go about footprinting your target.